we'll be talking about the concept of what subcutaneous edema now I'm talking about subcutaneous edema you have two words to actually deal with what is subcutaneous first of all what is cutaneous cutaneous is the skin sub means under the skin edema means what accumulation of fluid all right so looking at this picture you can see this is the layers of the skin I can see this is a subcutaneous layer now the subcutaneous layer is just beneath the skin you know the skin is made up of what epidermis and dermis collectively they are the skin so you see there's a subcutaneous edema that means what there is accumulation of fluid that is just just beneath the skin all right so for the subcutaneous edema we are saying that it's a condition characterized by what accumulation of fluid in the subcutaneous tissue which is the layer of tissue just beneath the skin all right so there's accumulation of fluid just beneath the skin all right then causes it could be due to fluid overload like heart from heart failure or kidney disease all right it could be due to increased permeability of blood vessels due to what infections or inflammations it could be due to obstructions of lymphatic vessels it could be due to some medications that you are taking like steroids blood pressure medications and all that it could be due to what malnutrition it could be due to liver disease could be due to what venous insufficiency all these things are possible causes of what um, subcutaneous edema all right so you can see it for the symptoms it could lead to what or the patient might present it to a swelling of the skin all right which should be obvious all right so there'll be swelling of the skin that you can see it all right then they'll have a pitting edema can you see it pitting when you press it, it should now stay there like a dimple before it comes up. Okay, so this there will be skin tight tightness or discoloration, there will be warmth or redness, there will be pain or discomfort. Right? Then diagnosis. If you want to confirm physical examination, you are seeing the patient touch it. All right, press it to see if it is pitting and all the stuff. Then take a medical history. They can also do imaging studies like ultrasound, CT scan, just to confirm. You could do blood tests like what electrolyte levels and liver function tests just to what for that confirm treatment. If there is any underlying disease condition, which is normally the case, causing it, you treat it. So treat the underlying cause. Then manage the fluid. Give them diuretics so that it will now increase the way the blood is flushing out. The body is flushing out water. Okay. Then compression bandages or stockings. All right. Elevation of affected lymph, elevate it. Okay. Pain management and nutritional support. If there is a subcutaneous edema, what could be the complications? It could result to skin breakdown or ulceration. It could lead to infection. It could lead to scarring or fibrosis. It could lead to limited mobility or function. It could lead to a chronic type of edema. All right. So I think that's it for the subcutaneous edema. Definition, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, complications. All right.